MMA guru. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, I got his guys are actually attacking me. I actually, bro, he has really cute. He has a very loyal fan base. You got to give it to him. It is cool. It is cool to see. So props and kudos to you for that. And uh, just to clarify on that, people think I'm like talking shit about the guy. I'm not talking shit about the guy. You can have an opinion. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> like, there's like, bro, like, was he a DNB? A DNB? Do oh, nothing. Say so nothing. Nah. Do nothing. All right, but like, shit about the guy. You can have an opinion on a sport and not actually have done it at a high level. That wasn't the case. I just felt like some of the critique he makes it could be a little bit disrespectful to uh, some of the, the athletes. And I even like for myself, like just. When I describe these fights, we break them down. I'm always conscious. Oh, really, dude? Conscientious about just uh, what I'm saying and how I'm saying it, because I know how it feels as a fighter. Like people could say, oh, for tough guys, we're like super sensitive. I'm like, do you guys forget? We're, not, we're still not robots. We're, we may be trained killers, but we're not robots. Yeah. We're not emotionless people. We just know how to turn on the switch when it's time to go. It's time to fucking go, you know? So... But people that say that, like, well, if you're a fighter, you're very emotional. I'm like, yeah, I am, and I will emotionally destroy you and rip every limb from your body. I could literally rip your fucking ass up, limb by limb, break your arms, snap your legs. Like, well, it's like, what do you about? expect if you spend like with fighting? It's so focused, and you're 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 like sacrificing so much of your life and like good like ability to feel good for like six weeks. You're, you're gonna be emotional about what you're doing, of course. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So, I, I I get it. I get it from their perspective. They might not understand that side that we are still just like you. We put our pants on in the morning the same way you do, one leg at a time. If you could put both in at the same time, that's very very impressive. But <laughs> you got to be sitting down for that. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah. Shout out to him though, because again good following for him to to have built and i didn't know he was paralyzed somebody was telling me he was paralyzed i didn't know that like they were making a joke that like his wheelchair army he'll hit you with a wheelchair jujitsu on bar i was like i don't know if this is a joke or this yeah. is like serious i guess he used to train and then he well, some he had some injury now he's in a wheelchair i was a just fight, I, gathered, someone said. I gathered all this from like comments that were yes. left on your page yeah so That's supposedly a street fight yeah, I don't I couldn't I didn't gather that, but I knew he I I so he can't I guess he can't train. So people were kind of getting on us for that. Yeah. Well, they said the street fight happened and then he got really, really injured. And I'm like, that's one reason why I do not street fight. That's one. And two, if you're out street fighting and that happens to you, that sucks because you think a street fight like anything goes in the streets though. So it's kinda Yeah. You kind of play at your own risk. I got a friend from college that I went to school with and um uh, I lived with actually, and he actually got shot getting into a scuffle back home in the street, you know? So, Holy fuck. It, yeah, it's one of those things. And he got shot in his spine and he is now paralyzed in a wheelchair. Uh. When I went to school, I know someone in a wheelchair, so I can really empathize with the MMA guru. He plays basketball still. He was a really good basketball player, still helps out. He plays competitive basketball. So it's cool that he's still active and things like that. But yeah, um, that's sad. Yeah, it just one of those things, man. Like, again, no, I wasn't shitting on the guy. And I think people kind of misinterpret my passion for the sport in such a way where they think that's what I'm doing. I'm like, no, I'm not. Anyone can be involved in the sport. Like, there's no barrier to entry. We just, I was just talking about this the other day. Like, legitimately, anybody can get into the sport. You could be a criminal. You could be maybe not, like, a sex offender. They, hopefully, they don't let those motherfuckers in. But um, uh, <laughs> how old is this one? 12? And this one? 11? And this one? 7? <laughs> oh, God. You could have the craziest record and trying to change your life around and you could get an opportunity to come into the sport, change your life for the better. And that's what I love about this, you know? So um, I'm just passionate about it. So when I hear people trying to throw shade, it kind of just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. And of course, I'm going to say something like, I mean, he did kind of disrespect does. you. He says an alpha says shit like an alpha is not going to just sit there and just take shit from somebody. So. I'm sorry if I offended anybody for just being myself, but it is what it is. But again, kudos to you 
MMA guru. Yeah, his, <laughs> I think we're still getting comments from his his boys. It is. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. cute. It's cute. And I I mean that sincerely. Like, shout out to you for actually amassing that type of following. I think it's pretty cool. Um, All I want to do is spout weed and listen to the guru. The MMA guru. All I want to do is spout weed and listen to the guru. The MMA guru. Easy at the sun, yes, guy, no, listen to the guru. MMA Guru Urban Dictionary Fat Jew who has committed various war crimes <laughs> Recently diagnosed with diabetes and leprosy Nice, Fucking nice watch. Nice Fucking good one, dude What a prick Why do you have a weird fetish for piss jugs? Just let it go in a bottle I'm gonna lose doing it all I wanna do is spout weed and listen to the guru. Watch is such a free and fair. All I wanna do is spout weed and listen to the guru. Watch is a fucking absolute savage. Easy at the sun, yes, guy, no, listen to the guru. Watch the man with blue breast. All I wanna do is spout weed and listen to the guru. I'm your fucking nightmare. I'm your fucking nightmare. Don't you be talking that shoe, you my bra. I don't even know, I don't I'm the one who ain't got no twin partners. Wake you up. Imagine if Jan just fucking straight up cools. <laughs> I want to do the audio. Kind of randomly called Dustin Apache.